What's going on guys? Moonhead back with another analysis. This time we're back at Bowman Gray. A lot of stuff went down this past weekend at Bowman Gray. It was like a night of destruction type thing. They had a demo derby afterwards, but some guys decided to take matters into their own hands before the demo derby and use their race cars as demo derby cars. So let's take a look. Mind boggling is the one I'd use to describe this incident. You see, there's a big ass pile up over here. The eight got spun around. Here comes the two machine, which if you remember from my vlog from Bowman Gray, the two cleaned somebody out in that one and got hit under caution as well. Anyway, the two piles in there, hits the eight. Everybody gets back going. It seems like it's just a normal big wreck. If the eight's going to be mad at somebody, you'd think he'd be mad at the person who spun him. But no, this is Bowman Gray where not one single fuck is given. So now he and the two are tangling for some unknown reason. I think we'll get a look at it in a moment. And she's had it up. She's running into the back of him here, destroying her own race car in this. She's going to gas it back up, slam into the back of him, just tear everything off the front end of that motherfucker. Who needs it now? I mean, it's destroyed. Look at that. It's overheating. Now they're sitting there. Here come track officials. She's going to go one more. One more swing on him. She backed up, back into him. Let's see if the it's gonna throw it in reverse one more time yeah hitting them with the yellow flag that's really gonna do something window nets down on the two i believe they are calling it quits on this one look at this they i mean they got the guy with the leaf blower and everybody out there for this one this was big this was really really big also look we had track official beef that track official said i don't you do he took his headset off and he's like oh, i'm gonna calm down and then that guy gave him the point he walked away he said i've had enough of this shit so the fine folks at Flow had a replay here. You can see the eight pulls up in front of the two. The two gets into the back of them. The eight throws it in reverse, backs into the two. Both the cars are okay at the moment. Well, you know, the front bumper gets ripped off, and then the two just absolutely snaps. That's it. It's on. The chase is on. Leave that pace car sit up in her. Get the hell out of the way. These are two crazy people over here battling with their race cars. And, uh, yeah, we saw the rest. Well two destroyed race cars now this next one apparently is a long-standing beef apparently the guy leading here and the 28 have a little bit of beef and apparently the beef even goes back generations or something it's a long long saga but as you can see the 15 got spun 28 takes the lead i believe there was a time limit so they could get the actual demo derby in that evening and you're gonna see how this race ends 15 says all right i'm just gonna drive backwards knocks the shit out of him destroys his own automobile but they are not done folks they are not done 15 says well damn i didn't hit him head on like i wanted to this thing will still run i'm gonna keep on going so he does just that now he takes what's left of this beaten battered and bruised number 15 machine that only spun remember the only damage was it spun it was fine he's gonna try to tee him up one more time not gonna get him head on but right in the passenger side door and that did the trick gonna hit him one more time right there in the driver's door for good measure and watch this bam i mean he just walked over there and bitch slapped him with the caution flag bearded guy over there kicks the car and now that official he's very passionate he's pointing at him he's telling him hey don't you think about it don't you even think about it look at that guy he threw his arms up at him now can't have him fighting can't have him fighting I mean, that's a no-no. We could have them driving backwards, hitting each other head on, but God forbid they get out and fight. I mean, that'd just be violent, wouldn't it? Wouldn't want the kids seeing that. Oh, boy, and the 15's gonna pile on out of that thing now, and look at this. The shit talking begins. He said, come on! Come on! Come on! You think I'm... Oh, shit, I'm falling. Now, the officials kind of screwed him there, and look at that. His legs, that's not good for your femur. Holy shit, his legs were caught in the door. And they're telling him to get to the pit area. It looks like he's fine. He'll be able to walk it off. There's my buddy Eric taking pictures. Shout out to Eric. Oh, my God. And just when you think it is over, it gets better. So, you know the guy in the white car who spun the 15, that 28 machine? His father was declared the winner. Now, it didn't hold. I think the 28 ended up being declared the winner later in the week. See, here's the 28. He's like, ah, my dad still won. Let's hype up the crowd. It's fine. It's fine. And look at this. This is really a family affair here. They're going to give his dad the or the uh, the checkered flag here, not the caution flag. I mean, even though the race, I guess, ended under yellow. They're going to give him the checkered flag. He's going to ride around. Now, you might think, all right, just going to be your typical victory lap. But then he sees the wreckage, and he's like, you know what? 
I'm just going to drive down here and I'm going to deliver a little bit of a message. He's heading right for it. You can see they've already got the cars for the monster trucks out there. And the track workers, these poor track workers, look, they're pleading. No, no, please, please. We just want to be done with this for God's sake. And he's like, all right, all right, all right. So he's going to back it up. He's going to head to victory lane and give a great interview. Billy, a lot transpired before you took the checkered flag. Well, the time limit expired. You have any idea what happened with your son over there? I know Nick Wall don't know how to shift gears. He needs to start starting in high gear. And maybe, just maybe, he'll get one of these starts pulled off one of these days and get him a win. Well, Billy... God bless Bowman Gray. I mean, we really, really don't deserve this place. This place is absolutely incredible. Appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to submit clips on Twitter, Instagram, or in my comments. I don't really care. Just find me somewhere. Let me know of something that's happening or has happened. If it's cool, I'll probably analyze it. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next time.